Hello everyone, what is going on? Raven here, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the largest hammerhead shark ever recorded. Now, about sharks and hammerheads in general, there are about 400 species of sharks alive today in the waters all around our world. Now, none are as unusual, according to this site alone, as hammerheads. Easily rec recognizable by the distinctive shaped head, they live in many coastal regions around the world. So how big can hammerheads get? Well, let's talk about that. The larger of the hammerhead species, like the great hammerhead, can reach around 20 feet long. That's pretty large for a shark. Now, we were just talking about the great, the largest great white sharks recently, and some of them got to about 20 feet or so in length. So the fact that the largest species, the great hammerhead, can reach around 20 feet already, that's kind of scary, isn't it? That's something that's 20 foot long already, that, oh man. <laughs> so... Let's talk about this. So, in 2019, the largest hammerhead shark ever recorded was 14 feet 7 inches long. But I thought they can get up to 20 feet. Uh, the giant was caught in 2019 by former professional golfer Greg Norman of Palm Beach, Florida. Him and his friend were in the process of reeling in a black tip shark when the massive hammerhead approached and began circling the 80 pound shark they had on their line. After an experimental bite, the giant hammerhead snatched the black tip shark from the line, swallowing it whole. And they tried to catch this hammerhead. It took about 45 minutes or so to manage to reel the shark to the side of the boat, and where the reality of how big the shark finally sunk in. So they managed to restrain it in, in the water long enough to measure it, which was a touch more than 14 feet 7 inches. Now, Norman Shark is actually 4 inches longer than the official world record. However, as it wasn't brought ashore and measured, the catch remains unofficial. Despite this, it remains clear that there are sure to be more giants out there. The 14-foot-long Great Hammerhead weighed in an impressive 1,280 pounds. Now, there was a female who was caught near Boca Grande in Florida in 2006. She was actually pregnant with 55 pups at the time that she was caught. That is huge. But there are many tales of legendary beasts, which may look like it was a mere baby, when I say it, I'm talking about Greg Norman's huge hammerhead shark. It looks like a baby in comparison. One such legend tells of a hammerhead so big that it could swallow other sharks with a single bite. The shark was a battle-scarred beast who were tormented fishermen in the Florida waters before Everglades City in Tampa Bay. They named this one Old Hitler. Now, this was a huge hammerhead, ranging around 20 to 25 feet long, with the head rumored to be as wide as a car. His name was coined thanks to a swastika-shaped scar on his forehead, likely from a propeller, and he roamed the seas between the 1960s and 1970s. Old Hitler had a tendency to attack full fishing nets, much to the ire of the fishermen who were trying to take eek out on a living. I don't know why it says eek out. I'm, I'm guessing they meant something else there. But one time, a fisherman attacked him with a knife the old Hitler, and he swam away with a knife in his dorsal fin. The next time he turned up, he had a distinctive notch in his fin from where the knife was. However, old Hitler wasn't to be deterred and numerous more times he was attacked and even caught on fishing lines, yet he managed to escape. The more the fishermen tried to capture him, the meaner he got, or so the legend goes. More and more tales began to be told of him attacking boats and stealing fish. The story of old Hitler continues as he has been the subject of many news articles and projects over the years. People have been trying to see him. I know that Discovery has done a thing where they're trying to find the giant hammerhead itself. Did not find it though. But, you know, they're still trying. 
Now I'm gonna also say this. The sight of a massive hemorrhage shark is a breathtaking sight to be seen. The chances of seeing one are fast dwindling. Eight of the nine species of hammerhead sharks are under threat, with the Carolina hammerhead yet to be assessed. Of the eight known, five are critically endangered. These are the ones endangered. The scalloped bonnet head, the scalloped hammerhead, the scoop head, the great hammerhead, and the small eye hammerhead. While the rest are either endangered or vulnerable. So why are they dwindling? Well, the biggest threat to them is humans. Because humans are known to fish sharks, get revenge, or for food. You know, this is... We could end up losing the hammerhead. Any of the hammerhead species, which is very sad. We need to put a stop to that. Sharks are like the garbage men of the ocean, okay? Some species of sharks will actually eat just about anything. And we are, and all sharks will eat hurt and sick animals living in the ocean, just like the orca do. But the sharks will eat more, okay? We need to make sure that we're not hunting orca, that we need to make sure we're not hunting sharks. Once the sharks are all gone, our oceans will be vastly unhealthy and overpopulated. This will become a problem, okay? We need to make sure that we are keeping these animals alive. And I, I know the hammerheads are rarely caught to be used in shark fin soup. That is one of the biggest reasons they're actually being caught. So here's the problem though. I don't care if you like shark fin soup or not. You use the fins of the sharks and then the rest of them, do you know what happens to the rest of the shark after they cut off their fins? They will toss them back into the ocean and let them suffocate, let them drown. They're not humanely killing these sharks. They're just cutting off the shark's fins, tossing them back in and saying, oh well. This is a problem. We need to have this stop. The sharks are not the problem. The humans hunting them are the problem. So let's, let's fix this, okay? Let's let the animals, the sharks, repopulate themselves. Let's stop hunting all these animals. I'm sure old Hitler was probably killed off for shark fin soup or something. That's probably why he's not even around. That's probably why he's unable to be found because he's probably already killed off. This is why we need to leave sharks alone. Okay? Let's continue to watch these magnificent creatures like on Shark Week from Discovery or, you know, go to the ocean and dive with professional divers and look at them that way. Let's not hunt them anymore. Okay? I'm glad we can have this chat. I hope you all to enjoy today's video. Now I, like I said before, I'm going to say it again. All my images are coming from Google Images and I'm going to put that in the description. And I'm also going to make sure all the sharks listed in today's video are hammerheads. Okay? I will see you all in my next video. Bye!